How do we know that pi is irrational? Couldn't it be the case that after trillions and trillions of digits, it just starts repeating? The answer is no, and the way we know that was first proven by a guy named Lambert in the middle of the 18th century. Lambert took this continuing fraction, and he proved something key about it. He said, if the x that you're inputting into this continuing fraction is not zero and is rational, then the value given by this continuing fraction has to be irrational. We can also take the contrapositive of that statement. If the value given by this expression isn't irrational, then the input we used, whatever x was, can't have been rational. It must have been irrational. The reason that's useful is this continuing fraction is just another way to express tangent of x. And if we make that input something like pi over 4, our result is not irrational. 1 for sure is not an irrational number. What that meant was that the input we used to produce that result can't have been rational.